Ooh wee. I don't think I've ever seen something so amazing from a dynamic group. I just got to say, since we all muted, y'all might as well go ahead and give a round of applause to the graduating class, black graduates of the class of 2020. How exciting. I mean to tell you, we saw some people going everywhere. They're going to do some amazing things. Again, thank you to Taylor Bass, to Brianna Bedden for putting together that phenomenal video presentation. And now, I hope you got your glass ready as we prepare to transition into the official Black Alumni Toast. I now turn it over to the Vice President of the Black Alumni Chapter, Miss Annie Bell. I'm emotional. I knew what was coming, but that still got me. So congratulations. Again, my name is Annie Bell, class of 2009. And on behalf of the leadership of the Black Alumni Chapter and the planning committee for this event, I would like to once again just thank everyone for their support of the Black graduates of the class of 2020. I am blown away by the resilience, creativity, and determination of members of this class to make sure that you receive the celebration that you deserve. Um, the Black Alumni Chapter started just three years ago in response to an incident on campus, and it required a response from the full Black community of Rhodes College, current students, faculty, staff, and alumni. While the incident was nothing new to most of us, it was a reminder that we are all responsible and we all contribute to the Rhodes College experience. When called upon and based on the way you all responded and attended this event, this community shows up and we're full partners in support of students. So we'll continue to do that. I'm proud that as a community, we're now able to celebrate and gather in fellowship during the major milestones of a student's experience while at Rhodes College, including this weekend's commencement, to congratulate the class of 2020, to celebrate all that you've accomplished, to hosting this inaugural Sankofa celebration. I look forward to new traditions like this one that assures Black students and alumni have the space and full support of the college to be recognized and celebrated for all that you contribute to the Rhodes College experience and beyond. As the Vice President of the Black Alumni Chapter and member of the Alumni Association Executive Board, I'm honored to have the privilege to welcome you into the Black Alumni Chapter in a legacy of excellence among Black graduates. I mean, look at this chat. It, that's a, a thing in and of itself. You can just see how the excellence running through it um, I challenge you to always remain an active member of the Rhodes College community, and I offer my personal congratulations on this significant achievement. We are all so proud of you and look forward to the impact you're sure to make. So cheers to you, class of 2020. And now I invite Darren to share a message from our Rhodes College president, Dr. Marjorie Haas. I am delighted to join you in this celebration, the first of its kind at Rhodes College. It recognizes not only the talents of our black graduates, but their courage and resilience. Graduates, you will now join generations of black alumni and alumni of color who've loved Rhodes enough to press her to do better, to live up to her mission, and to build a community that embraces justice and excellence for all. You will continue that legacy as Rhodes welcomes and embraces generations that follow you. My goal for Rhodes is that every student feels themselves to be at the center of the Rhodes experience. 
The work you have done on campus as leaders and activists has helped us take steps up that mountain. I look forward to the day when we meet at the summit. I think today of each of our graduates, but I think of, as well of those who stood before you and beside you, your families, your beloved faculty and staff, especially those of color, your friends. You are surrounded by a circle of light and we include them all in those we honor with this celebration. You've claimed a life-changing and a world-changing education. Go forth, spread that blessing far and wide. Lift as you rise, do good as you do well. We are so proud of you. Rhodes is your home today and always. May God bless you and keep you. May the light of God shine upon you. May the face of God turn towards you and give you peace. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that if you have not already done so, that you unmute your camera. Don't unmute your phones. You actually can't even unmute them because I got you muted anyway. So hold tight. Let me now turn it over to our Toastmaster for tonight, Mr. Cord McClain. There we go. Thank you, Darren. Hello, everyone. My name is Cord McClain, yet another proud member of the class of 2009. Um, I'm excited to be with you all this evening, um, or this afternoon, or this evening, whatever um, time of the day it is, wherever in the world you may be. I'm glad you are here, and I'm excited to share in this moment with you. Um, I'm especially thrilled and to be able to honor and celebrate with the graduates of the class of 2020. You did it. Congratulations. We are all so proud of you. Um, I remember very distinctly when a few of classmates and I, a few of my classmates and I were preparing to take leadership in the Black Student Association. Dr. Luther Ivory, um, known to many as Iman, said to us, there's a big difference between Black presence and Black input. Um, he was challenging us at the time to not get too hung up on how few of us there were on the campus at the time, but to instead think boldly about the change we could affect with our presence. As an alum, it is incredible and inspiring for me to see the video that we just saw, right? Um, to see how we have grown significantly, not only in number, but also in our impact on campus over the years. Uh, watching from afar, I could not be prouder of you, the class of 2024, um, the legacy um, that you are leaving behind, the contributions you are making and that you have made to adding to our legacy of Black excellence at Rhodes. And so for that, and to you, I raise my glass in honor and celebration um, of your commencement this weekend. I hope each of you take these moments, even in the comfort of your homes, to reflect on, to soak up, and to celebrate um, the milestones in your, life, uh, in your lives, this being one of the most significant. I'm excited now to invite a few of our other family members to join me in a round of alumni toasts as well. Up first, I'd like to introduce Dr. Sherry Turner, Class of 1984 and Vice President of Strategic Initiatives at Rhodes. Uh, Sherry? Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to the Class of 2020. I would like to take this moment to congratulate you and commend you not only on your graduation from Rhodes College, but on this inaugural Sankofa celebration. And so, in the spirit of Sankofa, may you cherish your past and take from it those lessons learned, challenges overcome, and victories won so that you can achieve your highest potential. May you not only reach back, but look forward to nurture expectancy, potential, and promise to create the world that we all desire. May you have the courage to open doors that are closed and to create a way where there is no way. May you continue to grow in your love of learning and your deep care for the world. 
May you also be mindful of the weight of your footsteps, knowing that you have a legacy to leave and that your footsteps will form the path for those generations who come after you. May you always remember Rhodes College and work to ensure that this institution has an even greater positive impact for future generations of students, for Memphis and the world. Class of 2020, I am so proud of you and I am so glad to welcome you into the fold of alumni of Rhodes College. Here's to you. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Turner, and thank you, um, Sherry, for the contributions that you are continuing to make um, on our campus as well and for your leadership. Um, next up, I'd like to welcome Derek King, class of 2010, vice principal at Southland High School in Memphis and independent consultant with King's Educational Excellence. Derek? Can you hear me? Okay. Got you now. Good evening, everyone. Um, shout out to our graduates and thank you for everyone who's helped to put this together. To the Black Roads graduates, I'm honored to have the opportunity to salute you all. You're a small yet mighty group, and I'm sure you've had to forge community and lean on each other to make it to this point. You've probably persevered through countless microaggressions, overt racism, ill-conceived definitions of diversity, and empty overtures of inclusion. Conversely, you've probably had some amazing and life-changing moments while providing more culture and flavor to Rhodes by showing just how dope Black folks can be. Rhodes is better for having you all there. Rhodes is better because all of us have been there. I want to give a special shout out to those pursuing education, for the education majors, future masters, and urban education students, and all who are interested in education, we need you. Come join the fight. I'll be more than happy to share all I know with you. I'll leave you with this. Whether you're religious or not, you can take these words with you. 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Chart your own path. Will yourself to step out and be a peculiar person. There's no sense in perpetuating the same thing. Your boldness will be appreciated. Your bravery will prepare you to amazing things. Your gift will make room for you. Here's a salute to the class of 2020. Welcome to the Black Alumni Club. Dr. King, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for your toast. Um, it's my pleasure now to welcome class of 2016 alumna, TEDx Memphis speaker, Forbes 30 under 30 honoree, director of Next Memphis, Chloe Hakeem Moore. Hi, everyone. It's interesting. I'm emotional, similar to Annie earlier in the sense that I didn't know I'd find so early what it feels like to be an old head until I became this proud of the class of 2020, even though I was just here not too long ago. So to my dearest, dearest class of 2020, congratulations on this moment. Each of you have made history just by being and whether you felt it or not, you thrived by making it this far. You are our ancestors' wildest dream. And that said, in the crudest sense, you spent the last 16 years working to answer the question, what are you going to do after graduation? While usually an innocent question, I'm sure, and asking curiosity and hope for each of you, there's a lot of pressure to do and achieve embedded in that ask. You're graduating into a strange world agitated by a global pandemic. So answering this great pressure in this wild world while also being black is an enormous task. The demand of excellence for better or for worse calls you as a wildly successful black person. And I know it, we know it. With this, my encouragement to you is radical and it is resistant to that demand for excellence with your every breath. My encouragement to you in the spirit of our dear sister, Audre Lorde, is cultivating a radical self-love. It is to be you and only you. Outside of the pressure to do, beyond the expectations placed on your shoulders by your communities and yourself, my nudging to you is to prioritize your health, chase your joy, find you, 
and along the way, extend your hand to those around you, inspire similar journeys of self-love for those parched to know themselves. Know that in seeking yourself, you will always find love and listening to the desires in your heart, you'll unearth endless adventure. And in deciding how you want to move through this world, you will find power and peace in your voice, one that rings true to you. So along your journey, find inspiration in the multitudes that you are and know that you were never and will never be alone. Let Sankofa remind you of this. Regardless of your faith belief, I believe that we all have access to something higher than ourselves, which is community. And the best way to enjoy this gift of togetherness is showing up for it as yourself. And in doing so, you give others the sweet permission to do the same. So enjoy this moment you've made simply by being. As your people, we love you for you and have the highest hopes for your joy. Congratulations again, class of 2020, and remember that we see you. Cheers, thank you, Chloe. Up next, I'd like to introduce someone who elevated my Rhodes experience and whom I look up to to this very day. Leonard Curry, class of 2007, currently visiting instructor of religion at Berea College. Take it away, Leonard. Am I unmuted? Can you hear me? You are. Amen. <laughs> to uh, the Black students of the Rhodes College graduating class of 2020, uh, congratulations, you did it. Um, in this space of joy, here in this moment of happiness, here in this space of accomplishment, allow yourself to look back on it for every paper, for every test, for every crisis you navigated, for every disaster you averted, for every late night and for every early morning, for every mountain, you did it, you have arrived, and now you are here. Take your joy, have your joy, permit yourself to be happy, allow yourself to celebrate for you have done the difficult and you did it during a pandemic. As you cross over into a world that is not yet the world of your dreams, dream anyway, dream big, dream for a world full of justice and peace, a world where love is real, a world where joy is manifested, a world where black curiosity thrives, a world where there is grace amidst labor, amazing grace. To you, we tip our hats. For you, we lift holy hands. With you, we share the nod. We see you and we raise our glasses to you. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, I am full. Thank you all. Um, our next toast is actually a pre-recorded message from 1971 Southwestern alumnus and attorney Julian Bowman. Good evening, everyone. My name is Julian Bolton, and I'm a member of the class of 1971 for what was then Southwestern Ed Memphis, now and forevermore Rhodes College. I've had wonderful memories from my stay during the course of study at Rhodes College at that time Southwestern. Even today, I'm thinking about the day I graduated from Fisher Garden. It was a sunny day, just as it is now, and how proud I was. Before I congratulate all of you and the faculty and staff of Rhodes College for the wonderful job that you've done during your stay here in Memphis at Rhodes, let me just share a little bit about uh, my journey and what Rhodes has meant to me. I came to Rhodes from the south side of Chicago and my dreams were really far diminished from what I found out were my possibilities. Rhodes taught me that. They taught me honor, integrity, lifelong learning. They taught me how to never give up. They taught me how to be creative. 
They taught me how to be, they taught me how to be relentless. They taught, taught me how to finish the job. I appreciate the learning I got at Rhodes. And I would say to you, as you start the next chapter of your life in this world, know that you are well prepared to meet adversity, to meet uh, challenges, to raise your family, to have a successful marriage, to create a business, to be artistic. Whatever your dream is, you are well prepared. Let no one diminish your ability by their criticism. Walk your walk, live your life, never give up your dreams. I've had many experiences with this class over the last year during the celebrations, and I came to see you closely, and you are truly inspiring. At, that, at the time I was a student at Rose College, the country was engrossed in struggle as it is now. But it was a different kind of struggle. We faced the changes in uh, our society regarding uh, racial equality. You face health challenges, challenges as to the environment, challenges as to, similar to us, equality in our way of life. You can meet those challenges. You're well prepared. Now, I know that it's uh, 6.30 or 6.45 when you hear this message, but it's about noon as I create this message. But I want to make a toast to you, the courageous class of 2020, which includes many of my colleagues in the Black Students Association, which I was first president and founder. So as I raise this toast, I want to say that this is a toast that many Rhodes graduates have adopted in our celebrations, and we have many over, uh, have had many over the years. This toast is vibrant. This toast is genuine. So I say to you, to your honor, keep true to your dreams, to your own self be true, and conquer the challenges of the world. Hip, hip, hooray. Follow with me now. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so glad and so honored that we were able to have um, a legend, right? Um, in our midst during this celebration and his noon is somebody's five o'clock. So we are, we're glad that he was able to toast uh, with us tonight. Uh, thank you all again for allowing me to share in this historic moment with you. And congratulations again to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of you, so excited for the next steps um, in each of your lives. It is my honor to now turn the program over to Carrie Campbell, class of 2002 alumna and current director of community relations at Rhodes. She will give the final toasts and remarks from the college. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Good evening, everyone. I am Carrie Campbell. And again, I'm a proud alumna, as well as the Director of Community Relations at Rhodes College. To everyone on this call, faculty, staff, senior leadership, trustees, family, friends, alumni, and most importantly, the reason why we are all here, these amazing graduates. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us tonight, even in the face of a global pandemic, to make history. Let me say that one more time. To make history with this inaugural Sankofa Black Commencement Celebration and virtual alumni toast welcoming these students to the alumni chapter of the Black, student, Black Alumni Chapter. 2020 graduates, your impact on the Rhodes community has been remarkable, but it is not yet finished. You chose the theme of Sankofa for this event, and we know that means to go back, to fetch, to return, and we are anxiously awaiting your return. 
We hope to see you among our ranks as faculty, staff, trustees, chapter leaders, members of the alumni executive board, at events, fans in the stands, mentors to current students, hiring students one day in the future, pursuing graduate work here, and so much more because we know how remarkable we are and we love you and we need you. Just today, we received great news about how the legacy of our Black graduates is continuing and going with greatness. Our very own Aubrey Howard, president of the BAC, was honored with the Sullivan Community Award. And Marmilo Shamambo, one of the graduates you just saw profiled, received one of our most prestigious student honors, the Peyton Nally Rhodes Phi Beta Kappa Prize. Again, the legacy was built and the legacy continues for Black graduates of Rhodes College. Students, it has been an honor on behalf of this college and the faculty and staff to serve you during these past few years. And parents, thank you for serving with us. Thank you for trusting us with your most precious, precious assets, your children. Graduates, I know I will see you soon and I look forward to it. Go forth with favor and all the love that surrounds you in this moment, in this virtual time, and know that we are here for you and we are always rooting for you. Everyone else, go forth and have a good evening and join me one last time in saying cheers to the graduates. Raise your glass and drink up. Thank you, everybody. We're so glad that you all joined us today. It is an honor and a privilege to have been able to be your host and your moderator during this particular period. We're so excited about the class of 2020 and those black graduates. Uh, I see so many of their beautiful and handsome faces that we are just so excited. I just want to stop and thank again, Taylor and Brianna for putting on and having the vision to start this particular event. We are definitely honored and privileged, but we're just more than anything grateful for this class of 2020, which is a historic class. Some of y'all never would have thought Rose would have graduated 50, almost 50 students. I know I see y'all faces, y'all looking like, what, 50? I ain't, we barely had two. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we are just so thrilled and so excited about it. And we thank you all for your attendance. You all will get an opportunity to see the Sankofa video again as Taylor and Brianna will share that video as well as an opportunity to review this as well. Until next time, God bless you all. Have a great evening and thank you all so much for attending the inaugural Sankofa event. Let me see you give it a round of applause. All right. Cheers and good night, everybody. Have a good one.